Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of medium resistances using the substitution method. So let us start with our problem. So our question is that uh, we are measuring a resistance by using the substitution method. And here we have used a standard of 0 0.5 mega ohm and the galvanometer it is having a resistance of 10 kilo ohm and the galvanometer is giving us the deflections that uh, when the standard resistor is connected in the circuit the galvanometer is giving us the deflection at 41 divisions and when the unknown resistor is connected then the galvanometer is giving us the deflection at 51 divisions. Okay, so we have to find the unknown resistance by this substitution method. So let us try to solve this problem. We know that the deflection of the galvanometer it is directly proportional to the current in the circuit. If current is flowing in the circuit then the galvanometer will uh, deflect and uh, from the zero position and the pointer of the galvanometer will give us the value of the current. So the deflection of galvanometer is directly proportional to the current. And we know that the current and the resistance, they are inversely proportional to each other. Okay. So, because the resistance is equal to V by I, so R and I, resistance and current, they are inversely proportional to each other. So here we can also say that the deflection of the galvanometer, it is directly proportional to the current and inversely proportional to the resistance. Now let us suppose that S is the standard resistor connected in the circuit. R is the unknown resistance. And G is the galvanometer resistance. Also, theta 1 is the deflection of the galvanometer when the standard resistor is connected. And theta 2 is the deflection with the unknown resistor. So we can say that when the theta 1 means a standard resistor is connected. So at that time the galvanometer resistance means the deflection of the galvanometer. It is inversely proportional to the resistance. So theta 1 will be inversely proportional to the standard resistor plus the galvanometer resistance and theta 2 which is the deflection when the unknown resistor is connected. So it will be inversely proportional to R plus G. 
okay because deflection is inversely proportional to the resistance so when we take the ratio theta 1 upon theta 2 it will be equal to r plus g upon s plus g okay now here all the variables are given to us and we have to find out the unknown resistance theta 1 it is the deflection with the standard resistor so it is the 41 theta 2 is 51 divisions the value of r we want to find out galvanometer resistance is given to us as 10 kilo ohms Standard resistor, its value is 0 0.5 mega ohm plus 10 kilo ohm. So the value of the resistor will be 1. R is equals to S plus G theta 1 upon theta 2 minus of G. From this formula, theta 1 upon theta 2 multiplied with s plus g minus of g okay so r will be equals to s is the standard resistor that is the 0 0.5 mega ohm so we will write 0 0.5 mega ohm converting into ohm so multiply it with 10 raised to the power 6 plus galvanometer which is 10 kilo ohm so 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 theta 1 is 41 Theta 2 is 51 minus again galvanometer 10 into 10 raised to the power 3. So when we solve this, we will get the value of the unknown resistance as 0 0.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 ohms. Or we can say R is equals to 0 0.4 mega ohm. So here you have to uh, keep this concept in your mind that the deflection of the galvanometer it is directly proportional to the current flowing in the circuit and as current and resistance they are inversely proportional so you are using here the condition that deflection will be inversely proportional to the resistance so theta 1 is the deflection due to the standard resistance so it will be inversely proportional to the resistance here also it will be inversely proportional and using this formula you can find the value of the unknown resistance r okay so in this uh, video we have uh, here we have solved a problem which is based on the measurement of the unknown resistance using the substitution method. Here the unknown resistance is substituted by a standard resistance. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.